Real quick, I got some ice formation from my hose that's still going. It hasn't clogged up. Um, well, it did a little bit. I had to unclog it. But a viewer requested information on my cable or my internet situation here in the house. And I guess we can start with the cable service. It comes from, you can see the pole right there. And then actually there's a pole out by the road where that street light is. Um, so it comes from that street light, then to this pole, and then to here. Um, up there where my service entrance is, and then comes down along the service entrance pipe. Here to my meter. What's my meter reading right now? 12,000 kilowatt hours. That's been in for over a year, so that's better than a kilowatt hour, or a thousand kilowatt hours per month. Uh, and then it comes into my, uh, I don't know what this box would called, be called. It's a cable tech. And they didn't lock it either, so I can just open it and, well, yeah, there you go. There, it's closed. All right, so that goes through the wall, through that box. And then it goes here into my shop. And this is a really cool part. Ah, I can turn on the lights with the light switch here. And I have most of the lights in the garage here now wired up to my light switch, um, at least on this half of the garage. You can go over to the other half of the garage. There's an extra light switch here, which does an extra bit of light, <sighs> which is good enough for this video. So the cable comes through the wall here. I do have a structured wiring enclosure that I need to put on it. Uh, but it comes through here and then it goes through this um, coupler, which is a little bit loose somehow. And it runs up to my structured wiring box in the house. I also have two ethernet wires that run down here. And that's because I just wanted both redundancy and I wanted to maybe uh, connect my network to our hospital, which is right out, out there. Can you see it? Yeah. Um, so I, I would potentially, I kind of plan this to have maybe two networks running at the same time. One that's tied into the hospital and one that's tied into my house, which is, will have its own separate internet connection. And it's, it's right next to my main panel here, which is completely full. And my main cable comes into here, which is my structured wiring box for the house. It's in the, the laundry hallway here. Now I have also planned on putting cabinets up here. So this would ultimately be hidden in the back of a cabinet. And let's look inside. What do we have? So my cable comes in here and it splits multiple ways. Um, but now that I think of it, I just need to disconnect those. I had originally connected those because we had clear QAM channels. If you don't know what that is, that's where you can have cable, digital cable into a, a newer TV without actually having a cable box or technically cable service. But they have since encrypted every single cable TV channel, so now you need a box. So I can just disconnect all the rest of them. Useless, because we have like we have zero channels now. So the, the path of my internet, it comes up through these cables. Um, but really I just need to put a union in between the two cables that I need. I can probably disconnect the rest of them. And that runs up to my modem. And from the modem, it runs down this black ethernet cable to this, which is a power over ethernet injector, which comes with the ubiquity edge router, or does it come with the, the Wi-Fi access point access point? I'm not sure. From there, it runs into the edge router, which powers the edge router. And the edge router has, I think it has one power over ethernet port, which is that lower one. And that runs to my wife wireless access point and the top two run to my computer and Xbox that are below the TV. And I also have of this whole wall, X-ray vision. So I know where all the wires are. If I ever need to like poke holes or anything, and I've done that for all the walls in my house actually. So that wire runs down through the wall, up through the wall, across the ceiling, 
and then over to my Ubiquiti wireless access point, which you can't focus on. And this has wireless coverage over the whole house. Um, downstairs, back porch. And let me get my phone. So I have my phone connected to wireless AC. I'm not sure which AC that is. It's one of the newer ones, pretty fast. And the nearest place is in Butler, PA, which is quite a ways for me, actually. But let's hit go and see how fast my internet is. Now, mind you, this is Wi-Fi. And it's a little bit slow tonight. Which is sad, I was hoping to show you that over Wi-Fi I do pay for and I do get 120 megabits per second on my cell phone of internet over white or wireless AC. Let's try again. Okay, let's try fast.com. So it's about the same as what I was going before. It's, well, you can see it's 9.15 p.m. on a Wednesday evening. So there's probably plenty of other people using the internet, but most other times of the day I do get close to or at 120 megabits per second. And here's where two of those two ethernet ports come out. I have, well, the, the useless cable there and all of my um, ugly wired surround sound connections right there. Notice that the this is all low voltage and beside it in a separate box I have high voltage. And then in a separate box beside that I have HDMI and SPDIF for the TV that runs wirelessly up through the wall to the TV. And I'm watching uh, an A-bomb video right now. And I have multiple additional Ethernet wires here which run to different parts of the house. So there's two outside. Also on my porch I have a wire run to the soffit here, but it's hidden, you can't see it. I'd have to remove the last soffit panel to access it, which is easily doable. And I have another ethernet drop right there on the soffit, and I can put a security camera there. And from there I should have a view of the entire hospital. And there's multiple inside. There's one on the other side of this wall, which right now is my, oh, she's awake, my daughter's bedroom. And there's another one on this wall behind the bed. And then there's two downstairs, and then there's this one in the corner of my house, which is the front, uh, front left corner, so that's south there. And this is kind of where I plan on putting a, a desk sometime in the future. So that's my uh, networking setup and it works pretty good but don't ask me to change any settings because that edge router is kind of a pain in the butt to connect to set up and change the settings say bye bye hit that subscribe button and like and comment and patreon and paypal and brenna bye